In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad radiator cap, what it does, how it fails, and the key signs you should watch out for. So, what's the purpose of the radiator cap? Well, it's not just there to seal the radiator. It actually holds pressure inside the system, and when that pressure builds up too much, the cap opens up at a specific PSI, allowing excess coolant to flow into the reservoir. Then, once the engine starts to cool down, the pressure drops, creating a vacuum in the cooling system that pulls coolant back from the reservoir and into the radiator. All right, before we jump into the symptoms of a faulty radiator cap, here's an important safety tip. Never open the radiator when the engine is hot. A bad radiator cap can cause excess pressure to build up in the cooling system, and if you open it while it's still hot, that pressure can release suddenly, causing hot coolant to gush out and potentially burn you. Always wait for the engine to cool down before checking or opening the radiator cap. Now that we know what the radiator cap does, let's jump into the common symptoms of a bad radiator cap. All right, let's start with the first one, coolant leaks. If your radiator cap is faulty, you might notice coolant leaking, specifically from the cap itself. So, with the car running, pop the hood and take a look at the radiator cap. If you see coolant seeping out, that's a sign it's time for a new cap. But in worse situations, coolant can escape from other areas, like a radiator hose, the water pump, or even an engine gasket. This happens because if the cap is stuck closed, it won't allow coolant to flow into the reservoir when pressure builds up. That pressure has to go somewhere, so it forces coolant out through other weak points in the system. All right, let's move on to the next symptom of a bad radiator cap, overheating. A faulty radiator cap can mess with the pressure in your cooling system, which can lead to air pockets forming. When there's air in the system instead of coolant, heat doesn't get absorbed properly, and that can cause your engine to overheat. On top of that, if the cap isn't holding the right pressure, the boiling point of the coolant drops. This means the coolant can start boiling sooner than it should, making it less effective at cooling the engine. Next up, let's talk about a collapsed radiator hose. If you've noticed that your radiator hose looks like it's been sucked in, your radiator cap might be the culprit. Here's why. When the engine cools down, a vacuum forms in the cooling system to pull coolant back from the reservoir. If the radiator cap isn't working properly and can't release that vacuum, the pressure difference can cause the radiator hose to collapse inward. Another symptom to watch out for is white streaks on the radiator. If you notice chalky white or light-colored streaks around the radiator or near the cap, that's a sign that coolant has been leaking and drying up. This usually happens when the radiator cap fails to hold pressure, allowing coolant to escape as vapor or liquid. Over time, the coolant leaves behind residue, which appears as white streaks. 